Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new, and if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad that you're watching. So, in the last episode, we got we finally got to the training facility, and uh, we did a little bit of exploring, but we not not too much, and um, we were able to uh, get the fire key, which will give us access to a few more rooms. So without further ado, Resident grab your drinks, Zero. grab your snacks, and let's play some Resident Evil. Are the faint sounds of footsteps those of survivors? Nope. <clears throat> they be zombies. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Let's check the inventory really quick. Okay, so we have the uh, fire key, an ordinary key with the fire design. Yeah, so there's two uh, rooms that you need this to unlock, but we're gonna go and uh, go back into the kitchen and grab. I think it's the uh, lighter fluid for Billy. So we're going to switch to Billy, and let's go uh, back down the stairs here and <coughs> use the red key. Was she not following me? Okay. Oh, he's not dead? Yes, he is. Oh, there's another zombie? I didn't know that they uh, respawned in here. Re yeah, respawned. Whatever. Okay. So now we now finally get to go in this room here. Oh, and Billy's really low on ammo. That's not good. Um, Let's give him that. And we're going to give him... this as well. And I kind of want to give him the ammo. Alright. Oh, nine each. Oh, before I do that, it's one thing that I did want to show, because I thought it'd be really interesting. Whoops. I can't remember if I showed you guys this already or not, but, uh, there are different uh, outfits that you can, you know, wear and stuff, and they're pretty cool. So this is the one that we're wearing right now. Uh, this one here is uh, from 1996, the original uh, Resident Evil 1. i show off the outfits a little bit here. Uh, the second one we have here is uh, 1997, it's Resident Evil Director's Cut. So basically just uh, an addition to added a few more things uh, to Resident Evil 1. They're both on the PS1. This outfit is not bad. It's pretty cool. Doesn't make sense for her to have shorts, though. As a uh, police officer. Uh, sportswear. This was originally a hidden picture in Resident Evil 2. And uh, you can find it by clicking on Wesker's desk 50 times. The cheerleader outfit is from Deadly Silence. Uh, that's the PS... Or, no, sorry. The 3DS. 3DS? DS? Whatever. The DS version of Resident Evil 1. It's her outfit. It's a un secret unlockable outfit. Uh, I haven't unlocked it myself, so... I didn't even know what was in it. Uh, you got a Western outfit. This was her alternate outfit you could unlock... Uh, in Resident Evil 1 Remake, if you played as Chris Redfield. And you have the leather outfit. Uh, this was the unlockable outfit originally in the GameCube version of this game. I think it's pretty cool, I like it. And let's see here. Man, the nurse outfit. Oh god, nurse outfit. I think it's, this outfit's kind of stupid, in my opinion. 
Uh, this was <coughs> an alternate outfit for her on the Mercenary 3D um, game. Kind of dumb. I don't know. To me, that's just kind of dumb. I know a lot of people like it for reasons that we're probably not going to talk about on the channel. Uh, this outfit is probably one of my favorites, the Star's prototype. Uh, Resident Evil Zero originally was supposed to be on the Nintendo 64. I'll go. Yeah. Yeah, Billy can just go over here. Um, I really like this outfit because it kind of mirrors uh, Jill's outfit um, in a way. The shoulder pads, the outfit, and everything. It's really cool. I like it. Uh, Team Wesker. Now, this outfit is based on Jill's outfit in Resident Evil 5. It's not exact. It's not completely the same. They made their own little uh, touches to it, which is kind of cool. Um, her eyes are also yellow. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this outfit, uh, only because it's kind of spoilers to those who haven't played Resident Evil 5, so I'm not going to get into that. But um, let's just say it's related to Wesker. But anyway, let's go back to this one, because we want the true experience. Uh, Billy also has some outfits too, so let's get him over here. Follow me. No, 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 don't follow. You stay here. Damn it. Okay. Okay. He doesn't have as many as, um, what do you call it, Rebecca. There's also some other outfits I don't have right now. You can, uh, buy them. Actually, I, I do have them, but I don't have them downloaded. Um, when Zero was announced that they were going to be re, uh, sorry, releasing this on the PS4, um, they put a contest out where you could make your own outfits for them. Basically, they had t-shirts and, and uh, pants, and you could put your own design on the t-shirt. And whoever's won would be put in the game, which is neat, because I think there's like th four or five of them uh, that Capcom uh, took from people, and they put them in the game. There's were, were nominated and put in the game, which was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, this outfit's really cool. This was an unlockable outfit in this game. Billy's only in uh, Resident Evil Zero. So I like this outfit. Uh, in the original Zero, you couldn't see his eyes through the glasses. Uh, in this one, you actually can, which I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Wolf Force from a game called Mercs. I don't know what uh, game that is, to be honest. Never played it, never heard of it. This outfit's okay. I'm trying to get him to face the front. There we go. And this game is from... And this outfit's from some game called Alpha 3 or something. Kind of makes sense because, you know, he's uh, supposed to be in jail or something, I guess. I don't know. But uh, let's go back to the first one. This way. Okay. Alright, just wanted to show those things off. I thought they were really cool. I think I touched on them a little bit, but I just wanted to show them off a little bit more. And a bit more detail. Okay, so our first bottle, we want that. Oh no, sorry, a second bottle, because we already have a bottle of uh, Molotov. And we definitely want this. Lighter fluid. Let's just take a look around in here. This kitchen doesn't look very good. I'll check it out. Okay. This sink ha this sink has long long since lost its shine. Utensils appear to be well used. It's a refrigerator, the door is broken and refuses the all to open. Yeah, they probably stuffed somebody in there, I don't know. <laughs> Let's regroup. Okay. Alright. So now we have to go back to the hallway and uh or sorry, yeah, go back to the hallway where we lifted now we're back up. Okay, so let's go... which way is it? Um, oh yes, we can uh, do... whoops, hold on. Let's push that around. 
And I'm not sure we may or may not get to the Marcus's mimicry Marcus. Okay, so let's uh, come do this. Yeah, okay, and we can combine these two bottles together now. No, I don't know why I changed them. <clears throat> I'm still getting used to the controls of the remake version here. Okay. So, let's go now. So now we can pick up that flashing thing that I was talking about a little bit before. Uh, what way am I going? Um, yes, okay, I remember where I'm going now. And, okay, because we're going to be getting... Because uh, there's two books that you have to find, and one of the book or both books have the wings of each of the statues. And I think we're going to be getting the black book. I'm not too sure if it's the black wings or the white wings we're going to be getting uh, right now. So now we can go all the way down here and use this. And we don't need it anymore. This room is, is uh, pretty cool. I don't know. The atmosphere and the mystery, uh, mysterious atmosphere of this room, you know, I always liked it. And there's one game in this room, I don't know what it is, it's one of my favorite uh, rooms for whatever reason, it's like a calming feeling. And um, I can sit in that room for hours and hours, but that's not until later on. I'll tell you guys which room it is. Okay, so uh, let's go up here, grab the needle, because there's a hidden needle up here <coughs> for the clock. And the clock is, if you guys remember, and the previous episode where we used the crank to lift Rebecca up to uh, get Billy to okay hold on I'm about it but really bad at explaining things oh to the note there so before that uh, so the needle for the clock is or yeah the needle is for the clock that uh, is in the room that we use the crank to lift Rebecca up into anyway I do apologize for that Assistant Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees as always. Where does, our, uh, where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones though, so I can't complain. William and Albert, they might have a future. So William Birkin and Albert Wesker are very important people uh, to the Resident Evil uh, franchise. We delve a little bit into them in, uh, sorry, we delve deep into them a little bit in this one, but Wesker's story gets told throughout uh, all the games. But anyway, let's move forward. William and Albert, they may have a future. September 25th. <coughs> Scholar Will, Practical Ow. They really are opposites, and, they o and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about both of them. October 7th. I got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage the rivalry between those two. It was the first time since its training facility was built that director Marcus has ever shown any interest in anything other than its research. Whatever. Or, well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm gonna have them tearing at a t-shirt. Eat it. Blah. I'm gonna have them teaching. I can't even talk. <coughs> anyway. You read what it says. I'm not going to keep going and screwing up. Let's regroup. Roger. Okay, so now we need to go in here. We can use the lighter to open up the door on the far wall. And we can pick up the shiny thing that I said in episode uh, 3 that we weren't going to pick up just yet. So now we can pick this up. And we need to use this now.
Okay, now we can go in. The game sometimes locks up a little bit, waiting for certain events to happen, so... Rebecca has, Rebecca has five. I wish you could uh, break it up even more, but you can't. It's in uh, intervals of 15. So pick up some grenade rounds. I'm most likely not going to use a grenade launcher a lot in this game. I'll check it out. I mean, you can if you really want to. Uh, personally, because I have experience with this game, not knocking in anybody, knocking on anybody, or saying that I'm greater or better than anyone else. I don't want to come off like that. But uh, <clears throat> because of my experience of this game, uh, certain weapons I don't really uh, need to use. Like for instance, like I group. said okay. about the uh, the shotgun. You know, we're not going to be using the shotgun. And the grenade launcher, maybe once or twice, not too long. Uh, the magnum is definitely essential uh, for me anyway, uh, when you get farther into the game. Okay, so now that we have uh, microfilm A, and um, let's see here, we got, oh, book of good. Okay, so these are the uh, angel wings then. Perfect. And what does Rebecca have? Probably nothing, right? Yeah, so she can take all that. Those can be dropped off, and we need to do that. All right. Okay, so now we have to put that uh, thing on the clock now. And if, you and if you've noticed, we haven't gone on the left side of the mansion, or the training facility yet. Oh, so let's, uh, hold on, do this really quick. And there's a reason for that, because we don't need to go in there yet, and you kind of got to be prepared to go down that hallway. Because there's someone who, um, <clears throat> you know, I've been uh, talking to, and also, they don't like the leech men too much. So I uh, <clears throat> figured I'd prepare myself properly so I don't have to stay in there too long. So they don't have to deal with seeing those guys for very much. Because I know some people can handle certain things and some people can't handle other things. So I figured I'd just prepare myself and uh, get enough of those cocktails and stuff. Because we're going to be fighting uh, those mimicry uh, Marcuses in there. There's two of them. One of them we can ignore and the second one, unfortunately, that we can't. So in order to uh, get I'm past that, uh, and uh, I'm going to obviously, like I said, get prepared. Okay, and I think it is uh, 3.15, but I can't remember exactly, so minute hand, so we're going to go 3.15, so we're going to go like this. Or no, it's 8, 8.15, sorry, I'm wrong, so we want to go this way. Oh, I think I screwed up. <clears throat> yeah. Keep going. I was gonna put the man minute, <coughs> minute hand on the eight. Our hand. That's the one we want. So now we want this to go on the eight. I'm pretty sure it's eight fifteen. And I'm right. Nice. Cool. 
you do find that that's the hallway I'm talking about with the uh, leechmen. I just like to give heads up and stuff when I know certain people don't really, it's not that they don't like them, but you know, it's more of a scare factor or something that, you know, they don't uh, really like uh, them too much Let's or something very Roger. much. I like to give a heads up on something. So, a big reason why I did uh, prepare before going into that room first. I just like being nice to my uh, viewers. I mean, I know it's a scary game and all that, but, you know, I do like to give warnings sometimes if I know someone doesn't like a certain thing. Okay, <clears throat> so now we'll go down <clears throat> to that hallway. Uh, there's also a second hallway that has the Marcuses as well, but we don't have to do that yet, and it probably won't be in this episode, but I will uh, bring it up when we get there. So what are we going to do? Okay. So we don't need to go in there just yet. <coughs> I still need to pick up uh, one more item first. And I picked up the wrong one. I think, oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, God. <laughs> Stupid birds. Oh, thank God she's with me. Sometimes if there's an enemy in a room, and if you're not fast enough, if uh, the other character goes into a fighting animation, like aiming their gun or something, uh, they won't enter or exit rooms uh, with you. So that's why I was hoping I was like, oh god. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's another note. Come on, we're back to shoot. That's one thing that's kind of annoying. Because I don't like how the uh, other person waits to shoot <coughs> last minute. Wait, she got a memo. Shit, don't tell me she's out of ammo. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Let's see here. Okay, if we're fast enough... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I was playing... Uh, I'm playing as uh, fucking... Rebecca, get off of here. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, Billy. Okay, we can pick this up. Microfilm B. And, yeah, we <coughs> don't want her to die. Um... Shotgun shells. So as you can see, zombies can get pretty dangerous in this game. Come on, Billy, let's go. And the note. We need to read the note. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all, governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to he to the heavens. Sure. <coughs> I don't understand it. So now we're all out of hand on ammo. That's fun. Uh, if it comes down to it, I may just take Billy into that hallway. I'm hoping I have a health. I really don't want to use it. Okay, so we got those bottles there, and we got, uh, oh, we got a green right here. Might pick it up. Okay, so I don't want to use the herbal mix, not yet. Uh, yes. <coughs> okay, so oh, what do we have? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, so Billy can take a bit more damage. So we're gonna send him in there. Let's uh, take that. Um. Okay. Come on, pick it up. <coughs> and just to give a heads up to uh, people who do not like the mimicry, Marcus, I am uh, going in here now. So the one here doesn't show up right away. You know, you're safe. He doesn't come until after. Uh, we do have to go into the bathroom here, and he only shows up after you've collected the things that you need in here. Or once you go farther into the room, uh, he'll come through this door here. So, uh, let's see here. There are some things that we need to pick up, like, uh, now as you can see now I'm over here, so when I come back around to the corner, he'll be around the corner now. So we definitely need the gas tank. And we'll take this, uh, health here. Now usually, uh, there's some handgun ammo in here. But, uh, for some reason, it's not. Oh, there's a bottle right here. You cannot pick that up. Why can't I pick it up? Oh, okay, so I'll drop the herb right now then. And uh, as long as I don't change camera frames, I will uh, should be okay to do this. Because he shows up uh, once you change camera uh, angles. So. And I want to pick up this herb here. What? This urinal is unspeakably uh, filthy at... It ha it must not have been uh, cleaned in ages. Hmm. So this mark is here. We can we don't have to fight him. We can run past him. And there he is, right there. This one we can ignore. Now we could really ignore the one that's in this hallway if uh, if I can get past him. That's fine. We don't have to fight him. I can't remember if there's any zombies in this room. I hope not. Because obviously I don't have any ammo, so. Aw, oh, damn it. Actually, we should be okay as long as I do this properly. Yeah. Okay, let's do this quickly. Now that's the room that we've been using to save. So basically it uh, shows you a bunch of numbers. I, as you can see the numbers and the letters. And what it does is it uh, gives you a code. You have to put that into the podium computer. Okay, so let's see here. We got microfilm image, A and B numbers. Okay, so he's going to come around here like that. Okay, he's going to lunch. Hopefully there's... Only oh god, there's two of them. That's fine. Uh, grab the handgun ammo. Grab it. There we go. Um, don't really like wasting these on zombies because they really don't do anything, as you can see. No, yep. Okay, so one's gone. That's fine. So how many do I got left? Uh, oh, I got seven. I'm okay. Actually, I can switch my handgun now, which is very good. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> so hopefully we should be able to get around the uh, the Marcus in here. We don't have to fight him. I'm hoping I don't. As long as you're fast enough. Yep, we're good. The problem is that you want to try and get to another room before he uh, sheds his uh, skin, I guess you could say. Because once he does that... Okay, we can drop these now. Because once he does that... Um, that's when things get a bit more difficult. Uh, 
Okay, so I think I'm going to take these two and uh, put them away. And this I can drop as well. Okay, so let's um, do this. So this way. Okay. She can come with me now. Do you want the gas tank? Uh, and we combine that with that. Okay, so let's uh, do the uh, shotgun ammo here. Okay, so now we got nine to Rebecca. Okay, so let's do this and this and that. Okay, so now we can go and use this uh, keycard thing, or not the keycard, the uh, ammo disc. Okay, so let's use the ammo disc. Now loading. Complete. Oh, okay. 2D. Okay. So what we gotta do is we gotta split these guys up. Okay. 2D. So it'll be one, two. So <clears throat> uh, like this. Now let's go back and look. Let's regroup. Whoop. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's split up. Roger. Okay. So let's go back and look at our files here, and we want. Oh, I guess I missed two files on the train. Huh. Okay. So we want 2D, so uh, A, B, C, D, oh, okay, so I have Billy in the wrong place. The thing is, it's always random for the, um, this way. Roger. You know, let's get her over here. I'll check it out. Roger. Okay, so the numbers are always random, it won't be the same. I've had, uh, oh wait, no, way down here. Oh, there's a note there. Let's read that note. That's my goal. I want to read all the notes so everybody gets everything, uh, you know, everybody understands everything. Uh, training facility mission. This, this training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, produce the only produce only the best candidates to be the future global leader, leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities, training facility guidelines, discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern <coughs> Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourself to your training and bring honor to your, yourselves and the corporation. Dr. James Marcus, Umbrella Corporation Management Training Facility. Okay. We, so we start to get a little deeper look at uh, Umbrella here. So, that's one. And that's going to unlock some uh, new doors for us to explore. Okay. 
Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, okay, good. But, unfortunately, <clears throat> I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I do hope anyone who is watching this uh, video enjoys it very much, as much as I enjoy making it. And I hope you guys you know, are having a wonderful day. And on that note, <clears throat> and on that note, like I said, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, <clears throat> if you liked it, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And uh, <clears throat> I will see you guys in the next episode of Resident Evil Zero. Have a great day.